Welcome to the ACE Pilot Academy. If you are wondering what factors affect a multi-engine aircraft's VMC speed, let's dive in and have a look. As we discussed earlier, you should have learned that VMC, minimum controllable airspeed, is defined as the calibrated airspeed at which, following the sudden critical loss of thrust, it is possible to maintain control of the airplane under 14 CFR Part 23, Section 23.2135C. There are several factors that affect VMC speed for those multi-engine airplanes often used during flight training, which were certified in accordance with historical 14 CFR Part 23, Section 23.149. How about we review these factors together? The first one is maximum available takeoff power initially on each engine. When you increase power on the operative engine, you are creating more thrust and lift on that side, which will cause a yawing and rolling moment toward the inoperative engine due to the performance increase. Because of this increase in power and performance on the operative engine, this will cause VMC to increase. Next, we have airplane trimmed for takeoff. VMC is determined by how the manufacturer specifies the aircraft to normally be trimmed for takeoff. If the manufacturer specifies a takeoff range or another specific range, whether it be rudder trim, ailerons, or another trimmable surface, then those surfaces need to be set in those positions or range according to the manufacturer. For most airplanes type certificated under Part 23, this requirement would only affect the elevator. After airplane trimmed for takeoff is flaps in the takeoff position. This could be any type of flap, wing flaps, cowl flaps, or even leading edge flaps. Most of the time this is only wing flaps, but if the aircraft manufacturer specifies cowl flaps in a certain position for takeoff, then that would be required for VMC certification. Normally wing flaps on most of the aircraft would be set to zero degrees for takeoff, but if they were set to the flaps down position, they would add more drag causing a stabilizing effect on the side of the operative engine. This would lower VMC. Cowl flaps open on the operative engine would add more drag due to the added accelerated slipstream causing less yaw and lower VMC. Next up, landing gear retracted. With the landing gear retracted, VMC would increase. If we look at the landing gear extended, the landing gear aids directional stability. Picture a keel of a boat in the water. It helps keep the boat stable and upright. While a similar effect takes place with the landing gear extending, which tends to decrease VMC. Then we have all propeller controls in the recommended takeoff position throughout VMC determination. VMC will increase due to the excess drag on the inoperative critical engine. From the propeller windmilling at the low pitch, high RPM blade angle, Let's have a look at most unfavorable weight in center of gravity position. VMC increases as the center of gravity, CG, moves aft. The moment arm of the rudder is reduced and its effectivity is reduced as the CG is moved aft, this would make the aftmost CG limit the most unfavorable CG position. Historically speaking, Part 23 calls for VMC to be determined at the most unfavorable weight. A light aircraft would increase VMC. If we look at the lift components of an aircraft in a bank, a lighter aircraft would have less of a horizontal component of lift compared to a heavier aircraft. This would not be helpful for an effective side slip compared to the lift components of a heavier aircraft. Next, we will look at airplane airborne and the ground effect negligible. To maintain the same amount of lift in ground effect than out of ground effect requires less angle of attack. When flown out of ground effect, you must increase your AOA, which increases your left turning tendency, aiding in a yawing motion towards the inoperative engine, thus flying out of ground effect increases VMC. Finally, maximum of 5 degree angle of bank. Like what occurs when weight increases, as bank increases, so does the horizontal component of lift. With this increase in horizontal component of lift, VMC decreases due to the increased rudder effectiveness with the bank angle. VMC increases as bank angle decreases. In fact, VMC may increase more than 3 knots for each degree of bank reduction between 5 degrees and wings level. Since VMC was determined with up to 5 degrees of bank, 
loss of directional control may be experienced at speeds almost 20 knots above published VMC when the wings are held level. The 5-degree bank does not inherently establish zero sideslip or best single-engine climb performance. Zero sideslip and therefore best single-engine climb performance may occur at bank angles less than 5 degrees. The determination of VMC and certification is solely concerned with the minimum speed for directional control under a very specific set of circumstances and not the optimum airplane altitude or configuration for climb performance. Thanks for joining us at the ACE Pilot Academy. Have a great day!